Good evening. My name is Alexander Hagen. I'm the CEO of a small, medium sized tech company, and I've been a financial analyst, a financial journalist, and a research and development executive and engineer, and I've filed several patents in IP communications. So, at any rate, <clears throat> Um, the reason that Ron Paul did not do better was because of the CNN debate. Ron Paul needs to broaden his scope um, to score more points. He has such easy target, which I've been trying to tell him about, which is that the E7 are forecasted to overtake the U.S. because of guns and butter. We've got to pull all the money out of corrections, uh, the war on drugs, and he, he makes these points, but he needs to drive it home what the trend lines are. By uh, 2050, you simply say this, there are seven countries that are forecast to overtake all of the European countries and as a group overtake the United States substantially uh, in the next 20 years. Those seven countries are Brazil, Russia, India, China, which are already called BRIC. And then on top of that, Mexico, Indonesia, and Turkey. And particularly in the case of Mexico, we could have an enormously profitable trade with the southern border if we would end the war on drugs and have the criminal gangs in Mexico be either uh, suppressed because there's no demand anymore from the U.S. or actually uh, altered so that the lower level people that haven't committed murder could be turned into uh, something like the marijuana grower uh, that are up in California so that um, you don't just disemploy them. There should be some transitional program, as there have been in other countries that have violent groups to get these violent people into productive lifestyles, offer them an option out because of the incredible cost to society of a murderer or drug goon. So thank you very much and have a good evening. And uh, my videos uh, on both channels, Jeffersonian Alliance and Free Radio SF, Libya Conflict Research, both channels will have this. Thank you.